Okay, so this is a video tutorial on how to get iOS 6, jailbreak iOS 6, and install Cydia on iOS 6. So first of all, you're going to restore your 5.1.1 firmware. Remember, use Shift, click Restore, and not just click Restore. So as you can see, restored, and on my this window here is just restore. So set up as a new iPod. Do not restore from backup. Press continue, and it will ask you all these stuff. I don't really care about it. So here we go. Okay. So set up on your iPod. Do the same thing. Just go through all these settings. It doesn't really matter what your settings are okay so once you're here leave your iPod do not do anything to your iPod just now click shift and click check for update choose your iOS 6 IPSW file now all these files will be in the description so don't worry about it just download everything you see in the description and worry about it later so while it's doing its update I'm going to pause the recording okay so now I finally finished updating and as you can see on the screen I'm on iOS 6 and just to show you on my lock screen right here is passport and well everything else looks the same okay yeah that new map icon so there you go I didn't do any UDID registration with apples or anything and I still got iOS 6 now I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak iOS 6. Now this part is quite confusing, so follow me well or else you're going to just run into troubles. So right now, open Red Snow, press Extras, select IPSW, choose your iOS 6 IPSW, press Open, it'll tell you which one you selected, press OK, press Back, press Jailbreak. Now, if you didn't press select your IPSW, it's just not going to jailbreak because iOS 6 is not publicly distributed, so you have to choose your IPSW. Um, here you can change any settings you want. Um, I don't recommend installing custom bundles because you don't know what tweaks work with iOS 6 yet. Enable battery percentage if you want it, doesn't matter. Install SSH, you must have it. Now it says Cydia is not available on 6.0 beta, but I'm going to teach you how to get it after you jailbreak. So now I'll press next, and I'll tell you to turn off your device. So let me turn it off right here. This is really hard. Okay, there. So now mm -hmm. it's turning off. Once it's turned off, you can press next, and be prepared to press your lock and home button. home button let's go power and when it counts down to about eight or so it should be mm -hmm. jailbreaking there you go now you can let go of your home button and just leave your iPod or iPhone or iPad alone and this will take some time so I'm going to pause the recording here okay so now it's done and as you see on the screen, it says you must go back and just boot tethered. Now when you go back, don't just press just boot because you're on iOS 6 beta. You have to select your IPSW again, which is right here. Press open, press OK, then you can press just boot. If you just press just boot without clicking your IPSW, you're going to run into trouble later and it's going to just piss you off so bad. So I'm turning off my device right here, and now I'm able to press next. Next, power, home, and let go of power. Okay, now I did it right. You should not see an Apple logo by the time you get to a third step. So it's basically going to go through the same thing as jailbreak but mm -hmm. slightly different so I'm going to pause the video here again. Okay so once it's done, um, it looks like you know nothing's any different, everything looks the same. 
uh, set up your Wi-Fi so that you're connected to your Wi-Fi network you can just close off Redstone now open up your SSH client doesn't matter what you use I'm using PuTTY I'll have the linking description so uh, ask for IP address so just going to settings um, Wi-Fi then the one that you're connected to press the little blue arrow and the first line it says IP address just type that in okay so if you did everything right it should be able to connect with no problem if you did something wrong you're going to get some error and it's going to piss you off so bad so port 22 SSH press open Sometime soon, it should pop up and ask for your username and password. So, I'm just waiting for that. Once it pops up, I'll restart the recording. Okay, so that was about a minute or two. And now uh, this will pop up, blah, 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 not catch. Just press yes. And then it will tell you to log in. And you should log in as root. And then they'll ask for password, which by default is Alpine A L I, no A L, A L P I N E. Okay. By default, but if you know if you SSH before and change your password, then it's whatever you changed it to. But by default, your login is root, and your password is Alpine. So now you just have this blank code what you're going to do is type in this really long code it's going to be in the description as well so don't worry about it um, there you go and press enter then it'll basically download Cydia and install it on your iPod or iPhone iPad whatever it is so this will take a while and yeah I'm just going okay that was pretty fast so what's going to do is something happen you know very spring or something like that uh, so hold up okay so problem solved city has on my spring board now um, I have some problem with it not showing up all I need to do is do a just boot again and it showed up just fine so right here I'm going to show you passport passbook is right there so it proves that I'm on iOS 6 and now I'm going to go into Cydia this hard okay so first time going to Cydia it's going to prepare the system files yeah all the account stuff I'm going to pause recording and fast so you don't have to Okay, so as you can see, Cydia is now running. I'm a user and done. And Cydia loads up just fine on iOS 6. Now, when I was first launching, I was preparing the system files. It said something about storage almost full. I just press done. Okay, don't press setting because you'll jump out of it. Just press OK or done, whatever it's called. And everything will work just fine so that's basically how you get iOS 6, jailbreak and Cydia so that's it for this video